Magandang araw, mga bata. Ako si Teacher Ross, ang iyong magiging gabay sa Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 2, Multiplying Simple Fractions and Mixed Fractions. What I need to know. This module provides varied activities that will help you learn about multiplying simple fraction and mixed fraction. It will also help you to follow few simple steps to solve the different activities. At the end of this module, you are expected to multiply fraction in simple and mixed forms. Solve routine or non-routine problems involving multiplication with or without regrouping of fractions and mixed numbers using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Follow the steps in answering problem-solving. Simplify a fractions. What's in? Change mixed number into improper fraction. Let us try to answer number 1, 5 and 2 over 4. So we have 5 and 2 over 4. So una natin gagawin, we need to multiply, then plus. Okay, so let us proceed. We have 4 times 5, that is 20, plus 2, that is 22. So the final answer is 22 over 4. Number 2, we have 2 and 2 over 3. Okay, so we have 2 and 2 over 3. And gagawin natin to improper fraction. So, we have to multiply, then add. So, let's proceed. 3 times 2, that is 6. Plus 2, that is 8 over 3. So the final answer is 8 over 3. Change improper fraction into mixed number. Number 1, 9 over 2. So we have 9 over 2. So divide natin. We have 9 divided by 2. We have here 4. 4 times 2, we have 8. Then, 9 minus 8 is equals to 1. So, sa pagsulit ng mixed number, ang ating quotient, siya ang ating whole number. Then, yung numerator niya ay ang kanyang remainder, which is 1. Then, ang ating 2, ang ating divisor, siya ang ating magiging denominator. Number 2, 17 over 8. Okay, so let's have another example. 17 over 8. So, to fight natin, 17 divided by 8. We have 2. 2 times 8, that is 16. 17 minus 16, that is 1. So, select natin yung ating mixed number. We have 2 and 1 over 8. What is it? The product of two fractions is obtained by multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators of the fractions. If any simplification or cross-canceling is required, you may do so to express product in lowest term. Let us try to answer exercise number one. We have 2 over 3 times 4 over 4. Okay, so we have 2 over 3 times 4 over 4. Pagdating kay multiplication fraction, hindi natin kailangan na pareha sila dapat ng denominator. So, sa multiplication, ang ginagawa natin, ita times natin yung numerator by numerator and denominator by the denominator. Okay, now, so let us try to answer. We have 2 times 4, we have 8 over 3 times 4, we have 12. Ang rules natin, kapag ang fraction ay pwede pa natin isimplify, ito ay kailangan natin isimplify. So, iisip tayo dito ng GCF o yung greatest common factor ng dalawang number. 
So, dito, we have 4. Then, 8 divided by 4, we have 2. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, the final answer is 2 over 3. Exercise number 2. 4 over 6 times 2 over 6. Okay, so we have 4 over 6 times 2 over 6. So, multiply muna natin yung numerator. We have 4 times 2, we have 8. 6 times 6, that is 36. So, pwede pa natin itong simplify by dividing both sides by 4. So, why 4? Because 4 is both divisible by 8 and 36. So, 8 divided by 4 we have 2, 36 divided by 4, that is 9. So the final answer is 2 over 9. Fraction and whole number. What about multiplying fractions and whole numbers? Make the whole number a fraction by writing 1 in the denominator. Example, 2 over 3 times 5. So now let us try to answer 2 over 3 times 5. Ano ang gagawin natin kapag meron tayong whole number? So ang gagawin natin kapag meron whole number, meron tayo dyang ilalagay na over 1. So palagi yon kapag ka meron tayong whole number, automatic meron siya palaging over 1. So we can proceed. 2 times 5, we have 10 over 3 times 1, that is 3. So, simplify natin to. We have 10 divided by 3. We have 3, 3 times 3, that is 9. 10 minus 9, that is 1. So, the final answer is 3 and 1 over 3. Exercise number 1. 2 over 5 times 5. Okay, so let us try another example. We have 2 over 5 times 5. So, 2 over 5 times. So, yung 5, lalagyan natin siya ng denominator that is 1. Automatic po iyon na kapag whole number, ang over niya po ay 1. So, 2 times 5, we have 10 over 5 times 1, that is 5. So, simplify natin. We have 5, 10 divided by 5, that is 2. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 2 over 1 or simplify 2. Multiplying mixed fractions to multiply mixed fractions, number one, convert to improper fractions. Number two, multiply the fractions. Number three, change the product to mixed fractions. Example, three over two times two and one over five. Three over two times two. And 1 over 5. So, ano ang gagawin natin kapag meron tayong mixed number? So, ang gagawin natin dito, gagawin muna natin siyang improper fraction. So, kapihin muna natin to 3 over 2 times. So, paano tayo nag-change ng mixed number to improper fraction? So, multiply, then plus, and just copy the denominator. So, we have 5 times, so that is 10, plus 1, that is 11 over 5. So, pwede na tayo mag-proceed. 3 times 11, that is 33. 2 times 5, that is 10. So, kailangan natin itong simplify. 33 divided by 10. We have 3. 3 times 10, that is 30. 33 minus 30, that is 3. So, the final answer is 3 and 3 over 10. We have exercise number 1, 2 and 1 over 3 times 3 and 1 over 2. 2 
and 1 over 3 times 3 and 1 over 2. So, yung mixed number, gawin mo na natin silang in proper fraction. 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 plus 1, that is 7. Kopyahin lang natin yung kanyang denominator. Times, dito naman tayo sa kabila. We have 2 times 3, that is 6 plus 1, that is 7. Copy natin yung kanyang denominator. So, let's proceed. 7 times 7, that is 49. 3 times 2, that is 6. Or, simplify natin, 49 divided by 6. We have 8. 8 times 6, that is 48. 49 minus 48, that is 1. So, the final answer is 8 and 1 over 6. Multiplying fractions using cancellation. To multiply fractions by canceling common factors, divide out factors that are common to both numerator and denominator. The factor being divided out can appear in any numerator and any denominator. Example, 9 over 16 times 10 over 21. 9 over 16 times 10 over 21. And this is multiplying fractions using cancellation. So, una nating titignan ay titignan natin yung numerator and the denominator kung meron silang common factor na kapag i-divide natin sa dalawang number na yon ay they are divisible. So, for example, itong 9 and 21 sila ay parehas na divisible by 3. So, let us try. We have 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So, let lang natin ng maliit sa tabi ng 9 para hindi tayo marito. Then, we have 21 divided by 3, that is 7. Next. So, kung titignan natin yung 16 and 10, they are both divisible by 2. So, let us try. So, we have 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Then, 16 divided by 2, that is 8. So, now, ito, ikokopyahin na natin siya dito. We have 3 over 8 times, we have 5 over 7. Then, 3 times 5, that is 15 over 8 times 7, that is 56. So, the final answer is 15 over 56. Okay, so we have another exercise. 2 and 2 over 3 times 2 over 16. We have 2 and 2 over 3 times 2 over 16. So, una natin gagawin yung ating mixed number, ay gagawin muna natin siyang improper fraction. So, 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 2, that is 8, over 3, times 2 over 16. So, as we can see, 8 and 16 are both divisible by 8. So, 8 divided by 8, that is 1. 16 divided by 8, that is 2. So, we have 1 over 3 times 2 over 2. 1 times 2, that is 2. 3 times 2, that is 6. So, pwede pa natin itong simplify by 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And the final answer is 1 over 3. Multiplying fractions. When multiplying fractions, they do not need to have a common denominator. Rules Number 1. Multiply numerators and denominators separately. Number 2. If the answer can be simplified, then simplify it. At dito na nagtatapos ang ating alarid sa Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 2, Multiplying Simple Fractions and Root Fractions. Muli, ako si Teacher Ross ang inyong guro sa araw na ito. Hanggang sa susunod pa nating mga aralin, paalam!
Salam. <laughs>